the one who is about to address us. He has come to inherit a process which was thorough, a process which looked at the welfare of the police officer scattered everywhere in this country, and a process which sure was going to also create a new vibe around the police service in terms of how officers are housed. Your Excellency, Honourable Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Honourable Minister for Works and Housing, who is also Member of Parliament for Ofwasi Ajurebi, lawyer Kojo Opong Kuma. President of the Republic and Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, colleague Ministers of State, Deputy Ministers and former Ministers, the IGP and members of the Police Management Board, heads of other security agencies, Nime Name, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In keeping fidelity with the spirit of the promises made on page 25 of his 2016 manifesto, President Akufuado, upon the assumption of office in 2017, commenced efforts to expand the provision of housing in Ghana in general, and in particular, for the security services. This is because access to decent housing is at the core of the MPP's mission and policies. As Dr. J.B. Dankwa famously said, the government and laws of the land should be dedicated in order specifically to enrich life, property, and liberty of each and every citizen. Decent housing enriches the lives of our people and it gives our people dignity. The programs to provide our communities with decent housing create jobs, incomes for hundreds of people, increase in economic activity and growth in the housing sector of the economy, and ultimately develops our communities into well-planned settlements. For specialized worker groups like the security services, it further boosts morale and contributes to efforts at providing efficient service delivery. This has been the president's vision. This has been the ethos of the NPP. In line with this, the President in 2017 instructed the Ministry of Works and Housing to accelerate housing interventions in Ghana. This project here at Tessano was commenced in 2019 with the objective of providing decent accommodation for members of our security services having completed phase two of the security services housing project in 2018. The 2018 project situated at the Eastern Naval Command in Tema helped to ameliorate the housing challenges confronting the Ghana Navy. It comprised of a fully gated barracks made up of 23 blocks each with 16 flats, giving a total of 368 homes to the Ghana Armed Forces. The barracks also had a multi-purpose sports facility and a playing ground for personnel and families. It was commissioned on the 12th of March 2018 by His Excellency the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Subsequent to this, 312 homes, the first phase of the 514 homes that the Interior Minister referred to for the police service were built and commissioned by the President in Kwabenya in 2023. This third phase of the Security Services Housing Project, the commissioning of which we are witnessing today entails the construction of 320 homes for the Ghana Police Service. Mr. President, it brings to a total 1,000 homes for the security services alone since 2017. Oh, I'm grateful to you, sir, for this intervention. 1,000 homes for the security services alone since 2017. Mr. President, these 1,000 homes for the security services alone are exclusive of the 1,700 affordable homes that the TDC has constructed in Bonn, currently being used by health workers, doctors, nurses, and other public servants. They are also exclusive of the 405 homes by the National Home Ownership Fund in Community 22. These homes are also exclusive of the 822 homes 
that the state housing company has put up in various locations since 2017. They are also exclusive of the nearly 600 homes for civil servants currently under redevelopment through our Bangalore Redevelopment Program here in Accra, led by the Ministry of Works and Housing. They are also exclusive of the 8,000 homes which work has commenced on in the Pokwase Afiaman enclave and the 200 extra homes that the state housing company is constructing in Amrahia. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the resources which have been raised or borrowed by the Akufuado administration have been put to judicious use in projects such as this and many of the other ones I'm referring to all over the country. And I believe we can give the administration a big round of applause for that. In our newly established public sector workers' housing unit at the ministry, we have concluded designs and secured lands for more units for other security services soon to be commenced. Mr. President, once we are given the green light, we'll move contractors to site and continue with the excellent delivery which the officers and men in uniform under your command have become used to. As I conclude, Mr. President, permit me to highlight briefly the other developments that we are undertaking in the housing sector. For the general affordable housing for the public, we are pursuing four major tasks at the Ministry under your instructions. Number one, we are securing funding to complete stalled projects, including the Koforidia Affordable Housing Project, the Saglemi Project, and the Adenta SHC Project. Number two, we are fast-tracking work on ongoing projects. Currently, infrastructure works on drainage and road works have advanced, and work on some of the foundations and blocks have commenced in Pokwase. Work on the 150 new homes by the National Home Ownership Fund has already exceeded 50% completion in less than four months since commencement. We've also completed snag listing of some of the redeveloped bungalows and will soon commission them for use by public servants. And Mr. President, as the IGP mentioned, the phase two of the Kwabenya project is also currently under development. Number three, Mr. President, a new PP framework to provide the housing market with some equilibrium through incentives for the private sector is being worked on between the ministries of finance and housing and upon your sign off work will com work will commence on its implementation finally mr president the reorganization of the national home ownership fund to stimulate cheaper construction finance and mortgages for the future is also underway kindly indulge me ladies and gentlemen as i pay tribute and express thanks to my predecessors who have spearheaded the work that we unveil today. The Honorable Samuel Atachia, former Minister for Works and Housing, who is here with us this morning, on whose watch this project started. Honorable former Minister, if you can please rise for us to acknowledge you. Thank you so much for your leadership in this endeavor. The Honorable Francis Asensubwache, on whose watch it continued. Honorable Minister, let's acknowledge you as well for the work that you have done here. Mr. President, the nearly 500 Ghanaians who worked on this site for the past 30 months to construct this edifice, the staff of the Ministry of Works and Housing who supervised this project, and Amandi Holdings Group Limited, the contractor. Thank you, Mr. President, for your vision. Thank you for the tenacity to see all of these many projects nationwide through, despite the headwinds that your administration has faced. Your legacy will be experienced even by generations to come. The police and security services, their spouses and their children say they are grateful. And in a few months, they will demonstrate their gratitude to you. I thank you, Mr. President, for the opportunity. We are also grateful to you, Minister for Works and Housing, Honorable Kojo. In these years that you have served the nation, as its president and commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Anytime we reach such an important milestone, such as commissioning projects as big as these, his demeanor is different and the kind of smile he wears on his face is different. It is purely because of the passion to see us grow as much infrastructure across the centers of this nation. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome our guest of honor, 
His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana and Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. Your Excellency, the people of Ghana are listening. Clergy, Greater Accra Regional Minister, Minister for the Interior, and member of and their families enjoying them. Mr. President, that is one of your legacies. We are happy. Mr. President, the last one, there are many, but for want of time.